Hello, my name is Christoph Feja, Market Development Engineer at Aero Electronics, and you are watching the unboxing video of our new platform, the Datastone Deck. Datastone Deck is a carrier board based on an Intel Cyclone 5 FPGA, and it was created to provide a single carrier board which can be used to evaluate various analog devices, precision signal chain and RF transceiver products. Completed reference designs are provided with quick start guide, platform architectural descriptions and instructions on how to rebuild the design. Complete bootable SD card images are also provided for each reference design. At the time of this recording, the following precision signal chain and RF transceivers are provided as complete reference designs. For this demonstration, I'm going to connect an evaluation board of the AD4020, which is a 20-bit precision successive approximation register analog to digital converter with a throughput of 1.8 megasamples per second. However, if you wish to create a new reference design using analog devices, precision signal chain products currently not ready as completed reference designs, then you can find step-by-step -step instructions for both hardware and software build flows in the developer start guide section on the Datastorm Deck GitHub page. To replicate today's demonstration, you will need a Datastorm Deck board, a 12 volt DC 2 amper power supply, which comes with the Datastorm Deck board, an AD4020 evaluation board with the FMC connector, an SD card containing the correct image, which you can download from our GitHub page. And because this is the standalone version of the demonstration, you will also need a keyboard, a mouse, a display, and an HDMI cable. Finally, you'll need a signal source. Today I'm using an analog discovery toolkit with a BNC adapter and two BNC to SMA cables. Before powering the setup, make sure that all of these are connected to the Datastorm DAC board and that the dip switches are configured correctly. All of these instructions with pictures are listed on the Datastorm DAC GitHub page in the quick start guides. Go to the Datastorm DAC GitHub page and select the platform option you would like to run. Select Quick Start Guide. Make sure you follow step 1 on how to prepare and install your SD card. Then you can select one of the demo options. Here I will be running the standalone option. You can see all settings with close-up shots. Once powered and the Linux system is booted, the graphical user interface will load and the IIO oscilloscope application will start automatically. Now we can run our signal generator. The AD4020 is expecting a differential signal centered around 2.5 volts. Mine is configured to send 100 kHz sine wave signal. In the IIO oscilloscope application, select the plot channel to be displayed. Then select the plot type. I will now select the frequency domain and then adjust the FFT average and power offset values. Pressing the capture and stop button will begin the capture process and an FFT is continuously plotted. If you wish you can add markers by right clicking in the plot area. You can read the marked values at the bottom left of the screen. There is much more you can do as the libIIO library API enables users to access the converter data from C code, Python code or MATLAB and a small sample of C and Python codes are provided. You can find further instructions on our GitHub page or get support by contacting your local Aero representative. To find out more, visit github.com, aeroelectronics, 
slash datastormdeck slash wiki or visit our datastormdeck product page at error.com slash datastormdeck.